Hey guys, how are you doing today? Hi Charlie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Awesome, can you tell me what time you opened today? We opened at 3 p.m. today. Okay, and what were you doing before we arrived? Had a couple meetings, uh, one with some IT uh, and corporate, one with our marketing staff, and then with scheduling and ordering. Okay, you had a busy afternoon so far. What is this area up here? Uh, so this is our um, reception area. Uh, we obviously have uh, snacks and diplomas and all of that for our guests to see, um, but this is generally speaking where our guests will check in. Okay. Uh, they will either, if they're a walk-in, fill out their information here. Uh, conversely, they could have filled, a, filled out a spot online on our website, which is urgentvet.com. And if they did, we would find them here by saving my spot online. Okay, and can you tell me, are these snacks for everyone? These snacks are for everyone, yes. Okay, and so if someone wanted to walk in, we take walk-ins? Absolutely. Oh, okay, but if they wanted to save their spot online, then they can do that too? Absolutely, go to urgentvet.com. Okay, and on a side note, can you name all of the states we're opening? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna forget some people, and I apologize. We have, obviously, the best location that's here in St. Petersburg, <laughs> Florida. So we have Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Virginia, Wisconsin, Arizona, Texas, Colorado. Maybe I forgot somebody, maybe I didn't, I don't know. And um, can you tell me where Urgent Vet was founded? Yes, uh, just south uh, or near, I guess, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. I believe the first one was in Belmont. Okay, can you tell me the name of the founder? Yes, Dr. Jim Dobies. All right, and can you name a few of the things that we treat? Uh, we treat many, many things, anything from a broken nail uh, to a vaccine reaction to uh, minor wound cares. Okay, and what about our brand colors? Uh, obviously, my cat friends and dog friends here are going to show you the most beautiful shade of blue and red. Okay, and how many days are we open? Every day, actually. And are we open on holidays? We are open on holidays. Okay, and do you send records to the primary vet? We do. Now, my pet is a bit scared of the vet. What can you do to help him? Um, it depends on your pet. Uh, we are all fear-free certified professionals here. Um, from the first week they start, we get that um, training taken care of. Um, we tend to use a lot of uh, kind of slow movements, sedation if necessary, um, maybe a little drug to take something, some edge off. Um, we don't obviously manhandle any pets or anything like that. We try to be as calm and professional with them as we would like to be treated when we go to the doctor. Okay, and do you have a favorite case you can tell us about? I don't know. We have seen, uh, tomorrow's almost my one year anniversary, by the way. So we've seen a couple thousand patients by far. Um, we have one who I won't name the patient for kind of HIPAA violations and all that fun stuff. I don't want to get in trouble. But we have seen them six times in the oh, last wow. four months from foreign bodies. Mm -hmm. And the owners are always coming in here and like, hey, look at what X did again. Uh, and I just, I love that family. I love that dog. Okay. Uh, I'm so happy that they've been able to come here. We've been able to induce emesis and, and not have them have to have surgery. That's awesome. Um, do you mind telling me what this is for? Yes, uh, this is one of our exam tables, um, and this is kind of one of our larger dog rooms. Okay. Um, and this actually goes down all the way, wow. so that if you have a dog who's a little afraid of being picked up, mm -hmm. and maybe needs a little boost, we can obviously lower it down, coax them into getting on, and then it comes right back up. You can also see here, it's a scale. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get on it, <laughs> but uh, believe me, it is Understood. a scale. Understood. Okay. And can you tell me what other um, diagnostics you guys offer, if any? Yeah. We have in-house x-rays. Okay. Um, we have kind of your basic lab work, CBC, chemistry, electrolytes, heart tests, um, parvo, CPL, FPL, all that fun stuff. Um, most everything that your um, GP and or ER is going to have, we have in-house as well. Okay, and can I ask, do you see exotics? We do not at this location, um, but uh, I believe some of the others may. It kind of is very doctor dependent. Okay, and how many team members do you usually have? I usually have three here. Uh, obviously a doctor who's missing and in a room right now, <laughs> uh, but there's usually either myself and two other people or three people, sometimes four on the weekends. And do you offer vaccines? We do not. The only vaccine we have is rabies, and that's like a post-exposure if somebody came in and got in a fight. We would obviously give that. 
uh, but we don't do um, traditional vaccines for puppies, kitties, or adult dogs or cats. Okay, and how would you describe Urgent Vet to people who maybe haven't heard of us? Um, we are here for you. Uh, it's an interesting question. We're basically here for them uh, during PM hours and weekend hours uh, for things that they're not able to see at their general practice or primary practice um, that aren't true emergencies. Okay. Obviously, if they come in and they're in the parking lot or closest to us, they can come in here, we can stabilize them and send them. Yeah. Obviously, I want somebody that's sick getting help as quickly as possible. And what does a typical day at Urgent Vet look like for you? Uh, for me, I usually show up between 12 and 3, okay. um, get a bunch of my clerical and managerial stuff done. Um, then we start seeing patients at 3 p.m. during the week and then 10 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. So you never quite know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And what do you think um, pet parents could say about us in three words? Uh, they are great. Can you show us the exam room? Yes, I can. This is our kind of next size exam room. This is for our kind of smaller or medium sized dogs. We obviously don't have the table that raises up and down, uh, but we have our little baby scale or kitty or doggy scale here. Um, and it's a little bit of a smaller room uh, instead of uh, being a little bit larger for the big dogs. Okay, and I know that most things can be done in the treatment area, but do you do them in the rooms with the pet parents as well? Yeah, like as much as we blood? possibly can. Obviously okay. to the comfort of the patient and the owner. Some owners don't want to see anything and some owners like need to be right there with them at all times, so. And what inspired you to work for Urgent Vet? Um, I actually had a couple friends that were working at Urgent Vet. Um, one on the, G I actually think they were both on the GP side when I started. Um, I had worked with them previously in Charleston, South Carolina and uh, they had nothing but positive things to say. Oh, and let me ask you, because one of them is right behind you, do you know the name of our mascots? Which mascot is behind me? This guy? Yes. You mean Yubi? <laughs> That's great. Um, and then I'll ask you next, why do you think someone should work for Urgent Vet? Um, I, think it's, I think it's great. The hours uh, are really one of the things that attracted me to it. Um, a lot of times when you're working at a GP, uh, which I did for many years, um, your days are taken up. So if you need to go to the doctor or dentist or get a massage or do whatever, um, you have to usually take time off for that. Obviously we have that ability to just schedule things at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. and come in for your primary shift or whenever that is. Um, I think we practice really good medicine is another thing. Yeah. Um, we have clients that are super happy that we're here. Um, we don't get to build relationships with them unless obviously they're like a multi-time thing. Uh, but the amount of people we get either calls back from or positive reviews from, like, thank you just so much for being here when we needed you. Oh. Um, it's, it's one of the great things that we get to, to have that. So why do you think a pet parent should trust us with their pet? Well, obviously we're licensed veterinarians and, and all of that normal stuff. Um, we are not trying to ever take them from their primary vet. We're not gonna offer anything that shouldn't be done. Um, we practice quality medicine, and it's really a client first, patient first kind of uh, thought process to how we practice our medicine. Um, so as much as we can, um, we keep them in mind uh, at the forefront, uh, whether that's coming up with different treatment plans or whatever, um, but we are client and patient focused more than anything else. And what's the biggest advice you could give to a pet parent? I always tell everyone I know, and I shout it from the rooftops, mm -hmm. get pet insurance. <laughs> now. Are you a dog or a cat person? Yes. And what number is the urgent vet where you work? Ooh, I think we are number 31. What breed do you think is the most talkative when they're visiting urgent vet? Ooh, uh, German Shepherds. And what's the most common case that you treat here? Vomiting and diarrhea. And what's the most common pet name right now? Probably Hershey. What forms of payment do you accept? Um, cash, check, MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express. And what was your first pet? Oh, my first pet was named Max. He was a Britney Spaniel that was a terror. <laughs> when did you decide a career in vet med was for you? Um, 1998. 
what's your favorite thing about working for Urgent Vet? Uh, probably the relationships I've built, um, not only in the community, but within the company. What treats work best for distracting dogs? Peanut butter or squeezed cheese. What about for cows? Churros. So it smells really good in here. Is that pheromones? Yes, it is. And where are the pheromones and what are they? Um, we have little pheromones here. You'll see them as you walk into the exam rooms. Um, we have them obviously dog specific for dogs in their rooms and cat specific for cats in their rooms. And it's really to help um, promote a sense of calmness in the animals. What's something a dog should never eat? Um, basically anything that doesn't come from a bag of dog food. And what's something a cat should never eat? I'm going to say the same thing. <laughs> so tell me, how do you unwind after a busy day? Um, one of my favorite things is when I come out the front door. Um, we are lucky to live in Florida and there's always a bunch of palm trees out front and out back. And I just take like three good deep breaths, realize I'm in a beautiful location. I've gotten to help my patients. Um, I've helped their owners. And it may have been a stressful day. It may have been an easy day. Um, but I was able to do that, and that really is what drives me in medicine. So, what is the most common dog name? Um, Bailey or Hershey. What about cats? Oh, cats have just the weirdest name ever, <laughs> um, but we do see a lot of mittens. What's the bravest breed that you've ever seen? <laughs> Probably the uh the bravest and babiest and most needy is my favorite and that's going to be the american pitbull terrier what is the strangest thing that you've seen on an x-ray an ashtray an x-ray an ashtray x-ray no no oh no no the answer to the question is ashtray a whole crystal like this big around wow yeah what is the most Unusual thing you've seen a pet ingest. Probably, Would that be it? Um, maybe a whole rolled up newspaper. Wow. Still in the uh, like rain packaging. So what should someone do if they expect their pet to have ingested something? Um, the first thing they should do is grab their pet and yeah. come on in. Um, okay. We'll obviously take a history and depending on what they ingested, we may need to make some further phone calls to find out if it was a toxin or anything like that. Uh, but when we start eating weird things, we need to come in. And what state do you think we should go into next? Well, for personal reasons, California. <laughs> Hashtag willing to relocate. <laughs> um, and then what is your favorite meal to have when you're working? I'm pretty fortunate that I work right next to a Publix, which you can't see, but I'm pointing to for some reason. <laughs> uh, and I am a pub sub. Okay. And what's your favorite dog movie? Ooh. Dog. Maybe Air Bud. Okay. And if you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? I'd like to say I'd be a pit bull, but uh, I'm a little more nervous than they are, so I'd probably be a chihuahua. What is one thing you should never give a dog? Um, human medication. What about a cat? Uh, same thing. What is the best thing about your team? Oh, that's, I guess, maybe their varied experiences, because we can always draw on somebody's knowledge. Who's this guy here? Oh, oh this little guy <laughs> is one of our little friends for training. Hi, buddy. <laughs> uh, so we tape a lot of fake catheters in here when we're training new team members, um, teach them kind of how to hold for things. Uh, and sometimes I just call him when I'm having a bad day. Aww. And the last question, yeah. what about your clinic makes you most proud? Uh, well, again, it is our anniversary tomorrow. We've been here 364 days currently. Um, and I've pr I'm proud of the amount of patients we've seen, the amount of patients we've helped, um, and that I think the overwhelming majority of people that have come here have given us five-star reviews. Well, that's awesome, Charlie. Thanks so much for answering all my questions. Thanks for coming into my home away from home. <laughs>